Beaton as well over there in Nevada and all across little towns and cities throughout this nation. The globalists want to believe we're failed, it's over, you can't say no to the system. The system tries to project power and oppression so that you just do whatever it says because it's illegitimate on every front. Let's race through your phone calls now. Dave in Boston, you're on the air, uh, watching the feds uh, claiming that they would shoot citizens if they dared go on to the land there in Nevada and then standing down in the face of the citizens uh, walking towards their, their rifle butts and, and, and walking towards their rifle muzzles uh, is just directly from V for Vendetta. Well, Alex, I'll tell you, back in uh, April 19th of 1775, the first American patriots were forced to fight Great Britain and the United Kingdom. But now, in April 19th of 2014, the American patriots are being forced to fight Great Satan and the United Nations. No, you're right. It's a globalist corporate takeover. Any other points, Dave? Yeah, it's just this uh, this uh, Great Britain and the United Kingdom, it's on steroids now. Now we call it Great Satan in the United Nations. But we're going to win, Alex. Well, for those that don't know, I hear you and I appreciate your call. From Latin America to Asia, from Africa to Europe, they're taking the public lands and signing them over to collateral and the national debt. So people that have grazing rights or who have service rights, which, again, is a form of property right, folks, all over the world it's being ignored. You wonder why Mexico City's doubled in size the last 30 years? It's because they forced most of the indigenous peoples off their ancient land up to the slave factories. And so that's what's going on. And this is what's happening all over the planet. It's why food prices are going up. It's why beef prices are going up. They want you. Notice they're arresting people and giving them fines that have lemonade stands. And Forbes says, why is there a war on lemonade stands? Or why is there a war on farmer's markets? Because the big box stores, the system wants you domesticated. Let's go to uh, Caleb in Oregon. Thanks for calling in, Caleb. Hey, Alex. I just wanted to uh, call in and say that... Uh my great grandfather, great great grandfather, immigrated in over from Switzerland and was directed by Brigham Young to go and help settle that land. I'm sure with the Bundy family and many others. And my great grandfather and grandfather were all born there and were ranchers as well. And I just want to congratulate you and David Knight and the rest of your crew on what a a sweet victory this is for liberty. Well, I want to be clear. It's good for us all to congratulate each other because it is a victory and a battle that shows we have the moral authority and shows the mainstream media can't lie anymore and can't blockade us. And it's an example for the future. But it's it, 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 don't, don't commend me. Wild horses couldn't drag me away from this mission. This is what it's all about. And so I am so honored that we've got a media platform that took 20 years almost to build and that we've gotten to this point. Again, it shows providence. So thank you so much. But uh, I want to thank you, sir, for your support and the listeners putting up with me over the years. Because sometimes it's ugly. Because it's real. You know, this isn't a staged event. This is real. This is This is down and dirty. Swinging the muskets at the Alamo. This is the real thing here. And 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 so it's not going to be perfect. But everybody knows my heart's in the right place. So thank you for your support. Absolutely. And, you know, uh, Harry Reid is, you know, a Mormon Democrat. And it's very sad to see him, uh, you know, push his fellow man off the land that they've been there for generations and generations. Isn't it the I paradox, though, that America is the land of such liberty and freedom, but also the land of so much evil, and that it's mainly Mormon ranchers like Bundy fighting all across the country, and then it's a Mormon supposed person like Harry Reid at the, at the tip of the spear stealing property. It just shows how it isn't even about blaming a group. It shows how there's good and bad. There's good and evil out there. You have to judge a tree by its fruits. Clive and Bundy, incredible fruit. Uh, Harry Reid, horrible fruit. See what I'm saying? Absolutely. Yeah, Harry Reid is a disgrace, and, and this should destroy him. That's why they shut it down. That. They want the story over. BLM backed off as soon as this came out, and then Bundy was smart and escalated it to, you know, to prove the point and, and get the full rights back and, and just not let them sneak off with their tail between their legs because he knew and said in the speeches we carried live at Infowars.com, 
uh, that, that, that they needed to expose Harry Reid and the Chinese government. Again, if you want to pay people for their land, do it. But don't offer them 10 cents on the dollar, like in Connecticut, and steal their property. But God bless you. I appreciate your call. Can you imagine how hard seven generations of Bundys have worked in the desert? Their ancestors showing up in the southern Nevada desert in 1877 and raising seven generations of people successfully. I think he has 18 kids. How many is it? And something like 40-something grandkids. I mean, that's a prodigious man right there. One wife, 18 kids. And, um, I mean, judge a tree by its fruits, folks. That's some good fruit right there. Anyway, slice it. All right, let's go ahead and take another call. Gary in New Hampshire, you're on the air. Go ahead. Hey, Alex, how are you? I'm all right, brother. I'm very excited, actually. I, I, I know we can win. I just know we got to get our guts back, and I've seen it here, and it just makes me feel so proud. I think you are an amazing person, and I know you don't want to hear it, but uh, your parents could not have brought a better son into this world. We are so lucky for the Jones family. It's amazing what you've been doing. When I saw David Knight live on the Vimeo stream, and I think it had about a million viewers when all was said and done, this is what we need. This is probably one of the greatest moments in American history right now. And because of you, Alex, and your crew, David Knight, the Bundys were spared slaughter by out-of-control Jack Booth thugs. That's right. A cornered family, trusted in God, stood up, was the last family they had run out of town, and then you notice the people came to them right at the end, right in the last moment. That's when God gave them the support by moving the hearts of people everywhere. This is providence. This is how history works. This has happened over and over again. But we've got to be willing to go all the way. And sometimes we're going to stand up and people are going to get killed. But that will be an example as well. You see exactly. what I'm saying? Alex, Alex, they're going to continue to shoot lone patriots. People camping out on a national park. Maybe even deranged women driving around the White House who are unarmed. It's time for Americans to unite, to not go it alone, to stand up against $5 billion energy deals with the Chinese, and to those of us who swore an oath to honor our nation. Those with badges who violate their oath are breaking their promise to all Americans, dishonoring their families, violating their promise to the Creator. My closing point, Alex, is this. In America, as much as the left don't want to hear it, it's one nation under God. That's right. That's why they hate God, because they want to be God. Well, I've seen what their God produces. I don't want any part of it. Let's go ahead and take a call. JT, one of the writers for InfoWars, they're in Colorado. JT Coyote, good to have you on. Hey, Alex. You know, something should be said to the boys at the BLM. Uh, they made the right decision yesterday. And they should know that they were fighting not for the Constitution. They were fighting for UNESCO. That's right. United Nations. On record. Yeah, that's, that's the treaty. Yeah. Yep, that's 12, 12906, Executive Order 1994, that turned a bunch of really good guys into a bunch of jackbooted thugs. And it's time that the boys re revisit why they, they became you know, government uh, servants. If, if they were going to honor their oath to uh, protect and defend the Constitution or not. And to Cliven Bundy, my friend in eternity, you have stood grand and tall before God. That's right. It's only the beginning. You know, thank you, JT. Good to hear from you. You know that... Uh, but the founder of the Texas Rangers said, a man in the wrong can't stand up against a man in the right who keeps on a coming. The key in any fight, George Washington lost almost every battle, but he persevered. It's the man that keeps on coming. You can't stop that. We gotta keep on a coming and we will. From the water table to our soils, to the atmosphere itself, our world is becoming more and more toxic each and every day. But it's not just the air outside that's toxic. Indoor air has been shown to have two to five times higher concentrations of pollutants than even outdoor air. And most Americans spend 90% of their time inside using toxic chemicals within their homes. There are more than 42 million smokers in the United States. Well over a thousand types of mold and mildew linked to numerous conditions. And don't forget the fact that six million Americans 
Americans live with pets they're allergic to as well. When I began to research these statistics, it was clear to me it was time to start cleansing my lungs in order to combat the toxic environment that we cannot escape but that we can fight back against. Made with organic and wild cultivated herbs and manufactured in the USA, the new InfoWars Life Lung Cleanse is here in a convenient spray bottle that can be brought with you throughout any toxic environment. Now available exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. The globalist social engineers are not just targeting us with propaganda. They are manipulating our genetics. We are being targeted at every level by estrogen mimickers that lower our testosterone and other hormones and natural compounds that the body needs. After consulting top doctors, nutritionists, pharmacists, and others, we have developed what I believe is the ultimate non-GMO organic super male vitality formula sourced from powerful organic herbs and then concentrated for maximum potency super male vitality was developed to activate your body's own natural processes instead of using synthetic chemicals super male vitality by infowars life is so powerful that i only take half the recommended dose for a limited time we are offering 15 percent off super male vitality at infowarslife.com to introduce you to this powerful supplement visit infowarslife.com today to secure your super male